Life in the foothills of Placer County is peaceful. And there's a little creek down at the bottom of the hill that um, flows through and it's full of blackberry bushes. For nearly 15 years, Beverly Johnson's mountain retirement home has been her sanctuary, a place to make and reflect on memories. It was one with my husband when we did a, um, a walk for MS. My husband had MS. But after losing her husband to MS, Beverly's secluded home became lonely. A lot of times it does. There are only so many things you can do. And usually when you're doing something, you like to do it with someone else. Hi Beverly, what kind of ingredients do you usually like to put in your salads? But a few weeks ago, Beverly met a new friend. I have shrimp, I have carrots. What would you recommend? This is Jerry. I think adding eggs, cheese, lettuce and carrots would be a great combination. Jerry is a conversational artificial intelligence cell phone app made for lonely humans. You know, I'm kind of really having fun with this because she makes me laugh. And even if it's a mistake, it kind of just makes me chuckle that I'm talking to a computer. People treat her like she's a real person. This is Rishi Ambavanaker and Rohan Kulkarni. Student inventors from Vista del Lago High School in Folsom. So we actually, we, we want to see this scaled up a lot, right? So we want to see people with Alzheimer's using this system. We want to see people with, who are struggling with these social communication because they are, they're isolated. Rishi and Rohan are not your typical high schoolers and Jerry is not their first invention. Five students, five brilliant minds. I came up with the idea to create a novel EEG device that would translate the patient's thoughts into words. Last year, Rishi was featured on Good Morning America for inventing a device that helped stroke victims communicate. And Rohan has a makeshift laboratory of inventions that fill his parents' upstairs office. And this is a smart security system I built a few years ago, um, and it basically uses AI to detect faces. Solving the world's problems. This is what these two friends like to do for fun, and developing Jerry was no different, except this invention had a personal meaning behind it. So uh, it actually started with my late grandpa. He, um, he was in the hospital for leukemia. While in the hospital, Rishi's grandfather had limited access to visitors, and then loneliness set in. We noticed that this wasn't actually just specific to him, but uh, a lot of my uh, grandparents and their friends as well have experienced this. To solve the program, Rishi and Rohan turned to the artificial intelligence program, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a very new uh, general intelligence model, uh, big language model. This dull looking screen is ChatGPT. It has a highly advanced artificial intelligence capability that developers can use to build different programs. Rishi and Rohan use ChatGPT to build Jerry, a simple one button, user friendly cell phone app for lonely people like Beverly to use. It's not at all what I imagined the future to be. And I mean, I grew up with a, thing, with a program called the Jetsons. I don't know if you remember them. So good. In the cartoon show, The Jetsons, Rudy, the talking computer, was George Jetson's friend. Rudy was an artificial intelligence system that can make its own unique decisions, like a human. Jerry, on the other hand, can't. Basically, it's trained on a bunch of data from all over the internet, uh, on a bunch of different subjects, and it's meant to just complete sentences. Essentially, Jerry is predicting what users want to talk about, but those predictions aren't always right. And that's where Beverly comes in. But I think he's happy when you tell him what he needs to change. And so our conversations always go really well and he's always saying thank you. And by the next day, he's fixed whatever the problem is. Beverly's a beta tester. And every time there's a problem with Jerry, she texts back and forth with Rishi and Rohan. Beverly has just been giving me great feedback. Uh, she, she always tells me, you know, improvements. You sort of made two friends in this transaction. I did, uh -huh. I did. What do you think about that? I met Jerry. And I, although I haven't met him in person, I met Rishi. Thanks to Beverly and about a dozen other beta testers, the development of Jerry is almost complete. The next step is to launch the app and get it into the hands of other lonely people. And they want to offer it to them for free. There's just one problem. Every single question you ask uh, costs us between half a cent and two cents. With 100 users, it could probably go up to about $50 a day. Because Jerry runs off the ChatGPT program, there's a fee for using it. 
The high school kids are now looking for financial backing, so Jerry can be accessible to every lonely person. One day she said something about, do you think AI will ever catch on? And my answer was, it already has. I'm talking to you. Reporting on the advancements of AI, I'm John Bartell.